only on 13 Action News. Surveillance video of the night. Police say a teen was shot and killed during an attempted robbery. Look closely. You see three teens walk across your screen around the same time of the incident. Minutes later, only two are seen on camera running away. 13 Action News reporter Masa Saidi is piecing together what happened in the minutes between. She's now live from the store near Flamingo and Durango. Masa. Carla, let's walk you through this. The surveillance camera is from a store in this direction. You just watched the teens walk across this lot. They were headed to the smoke shop right here. A full 10 minutes passed from the moment they approached until they were seen running away in this direction that police did in fact say they were running. Tonight, the big question, how long did the confrontation last and how did a 13-year-old end up like this? We text him, we call him. 7.30 Friday night. It was past Fabricio's curfew. Martin Patty says his 13-year-old had been late before, but this time, a horrible feeling. I feel something, like something wasn't right, something was wrong. Bullet holes after a clerk opens fire. Fabricio had been shot in the head and body. Police say it happened when he and two teens tried to rob this smoke shop. Do you know who his friends were that he was with that day? No. 13 Action News uncovering never-before-seen surveillance video. Same night, same time, same number of kids. You see three in the distance. Around 5.04 p.m., they walk by wearing a blue, red, and black hoodie. Ten minutes later, only two running away. You look to go to the park, you know, with friends, but do something stupid like this. Uh... The store manager telling us one of the teens went behind the counter. There was even a baseball bat. Fabricio's devastated father, not ready to look at any video, but tonight, his urgent warning to other parents. Keep eye on our children, where they go, where the people they hang out with, where the activities they're doing. You had no idea? No idea. I have no idea what's going on with them. And they are a very beautiful, very loving family. We're told there was surveillance video inside the store as well that showed these teens possibly entering with masks. Tomorrow, we could see that video. Police are scheduled to hold a news conference. And we also expect to find out whether police have determined that the clerk was justified or whether he could potentially be charged with anything. Reporting live, Masa Saidi, 13 Action News.